All right, so I just changed these colors because I was going blind with the previous ones. So I just changed them, don't worry about it. Now, what I wanna do is before we continue, I want to explain something called if else. If else is basically how everything works on programming. It's uh, conditions and everything, many things are conditions. For example, if the user is logged in, show him this, else, show him other thing. If the user clicks here, do this, else, do something else. If the player touches the bullet, die, else, keep running. All that stuff is all if, else, if, else, if, else. The good news is that if, else is in every language or almost every language, programming language. So it's the same structure and it's almost the same uh, concept. If looks like this. If is if, and then here inside is a condition. And then here it's a block. Else and a block. That's how it looks. Now block is a JavaScript expression. It could be console log, it could be alert, it could be whatever. And condition is whatever, as long as it means true. So for example, let's do if 10 more than five. Okay, let's console log, hi, else console log, Ho. We come here, we come to console, we refresh, and it says hi. Why? Because 10 is more than 5. And this is your first thing. You can do stuff like math here. Now you can say if 10 is equals, this is 3 equals. Remember? So when I'm making a function, uh, constant, I do la 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 equals. That is that la 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 has the value of la 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 la. But when I do 10 equals, 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 I'm not assigning anything. All I'm doing is checking. So when I put three equals, I'm just checking, okay? And I'm checking if 10 is completely equal to five, all right? So if I refresh here, it's going to say ho. And why is it a ho? Because 10 is not equals to five. So this condition should always be true, always. Hi, of course. If this condition is not true, then the block is not going to execute and the program is going to go to the else block, okay? So you can also do, for example, stuff like checking for arrays, uh, not arrays. For example, you can say Nicolas is equals to Nicolas, for example. And it is not, they are different. Nicolas, Nicolas, they're very different. Now you can also check if 10, is equals to 10 and it's how again why because this is a string this is a number as you can see it's different so always remember that the if condition this thing the if condition must be true if you want your your expression here to execute or it's gonna go to else okay now you can take uh, many other conditions, not only one. You can do, for example, else if, and here we can check uh, 10 equals 10. La 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 la. And else, okay. So if you refresh, it will say la 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 la. Why? Because first it's going to try to see if 10 equals 10, string to number. That is false. So it's going to move here. It's going to check if a string 10 equals a string 10, then yes. If this was false, it's gonna say no. So for example, let's make this false. Ho, oh, as you can see, ho. Oh. Because it's false, okay? All right, now this is not the only thing. Also, we have something called uh, operands, or I don't know how you say it in English, but I don't mind. That they just allow you to combine different uh, conditions. So instead of just doing um, the if 10 minus four, what you can do is do something like if 20 more than five and, I don't know, Nicolas equals Nicholas, for example, console log, yes, else, no, 
Okay, so this is a and, as you can see, and it says yes. So the and is very interesting because and has some rules. If you want to execute console log yes, then and should be true here and should be true here. If for some reason one of them is false like this, then it's gonna go to the else, all right? If one of them is false, both of them need to be true. That is what is called and, it's both of them. Both of them or none of them, okay? That is why. So both of them should be true. There is another one that can help you a little bit and that will be or. And or is either one or the other. So for example, if 10 minus five or Nicolas equals Nicolas, then it's going to say yes, because it's either one or the other, all right? So this is how it works. If true and true, that is equals to true, of course. If false and true, that is equals to false. If true and false, fuck me, equals to false. And also, it's not like math, this part is not like math. If false equals false, that, sorry, if true and if false and false equals false, okay? They both need to be true. Now this will be different if we change everything for or, because then if true or true equals true, if false or true, that'll be true. If true or false, that'll be true as well. If false or false, that of course will be false, okay? So let's practice this real quick before we go. We are going to ask the user for his name, no, for his age, and we're going to check if he or she can drink. It's very simple, okay? So there is a function that we don't use anymore because it doesn't look sexy, but it's called prompt. And prompt asks something to the user. If I come here and I refresh, as you can see here, it's saying ask something. We don't use this anymore because this blocks every interaction with the website. This is a very old JavaScript thing, just like alert. We don't use them anymore. We have like nice HTML models with a different form and we can actually customize the look and everything because this is just, it's just very old JavaScript, but it still works, of course. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say const age and I'm gonna put here and I'm gonna say, how old are you? Okay. And then I'm gonna console log age. So I'm gonna refresh here. As you can see, there is no console log because the code execution is stopped in the line number one after I resolve this. And then I'm gonna say, how old are you? 11, 12. And then it continues and it says 12. Again, we never, will never, ever, ever, ever use prompt again because it's not a good practice. Now, as you can see here, it tells me 12. Let's refresh, let's do this, and it's empty, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if age more than 18, then I'm gonna console log, you can drink, else console log, You can't. 11, you can't, all right? I refresh, 29, I can drink, all right? Now you can also make, for example, uh, you could make if age more than 18 and age less than 21. We're gonna say you can, but you should not okay so that means if the age is between 18 and 21 you can also do for example if age more or equals than 18 and age less or equals than 21 and here we make an else if age more than 21 
Then we're gonna do console log. Go ahead. Else console log to young. Alright, refresh. How old are you? 11. I'm too young. How old are you? 3300. Go ahead. How old are you? 21. You can drink, but you should not because you're young. Alright. Okay, so that was it for conditionals because on the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to actually check when we click on the title, we are going to check if the if the title is red, then we're going to make it into blue else we're going to make it into red. That's basically how it goes. Okay, so see you on the next video. I hope that you become more excited about this because we are um, we're doing cool stuff. We are uh, now finally doing some programming and some condition stuff. All right. So see you on the next one. Bye bye.